John, I hold my hands right here. I got the cards, uh, the questions here for uh, two extraordinary guests. Uh, John C. Riley is going to yeah. be out here in just a moment. He's in the new, uh, new Adam McKay thing, uh, Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty, and just an absolute Broadway treasure, national treasure, Kristen Chenoweth is going to be out here. Yeah. 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 How do you fit this voice. much into one show? Yeah. How do we do it? Volume. <laughs> Folks, I spend most of my time right over there, assembling the day's biggest, most important stories, then hand-shaping them into sleek, elegant bodywork, which I line with only the finest, most topical, polished Macassar ebony and open-pore Paldau veneer, adding light moccasin and dark spice leather seats and Malabar teak wood to set off sculpted minimalist switch gear, accompanied by a sterling silver humidor and champagne cellaret, then... Handset 1600 fiber optic lights aligned with pinpoint perforations in the roof line to create for you the bespoke coach built Rolls Royce swept tail that is my monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, sometimes I just, I just shriek awake in the scrapyard of a derelict machine shop, scavenge a 3.6 horsepower Briggs and Stratton lawnmower engine, bully a dog into giving me its frisbee to use the steering wheel, then I briefly consider but decide against swiping the brake pads off an unattended hearse because where I'm going, we don't need brakes. I hook it all up to a rusty Dollar Tree shopping cart, shotgun a white claw, no law on the claw, spray paint my teeth and blast off on the Fury Road thug buggy of news that is my segment. Meanwhile, no law on the claw. Spray paint those teeth. Meanwhile, a box of human heads was stolen in Denver. Yet a, another story straight from the smile file. The heads were destined for scientific research, everyone keeps telling me. And the CEO of the company that was shipping the head says, this is an extremely rare situation. <laughs> Did you hear that? Rare. <laughs> Not unprecedented. <laughs> we lost another box of heads, guys. Somebody set the days without getting a box of heads stolen sign back to zero. <laughs> we gotta... We got, uh. And the more anyone talks about this story, the weirder it gets. For instance, whoever took them could face some unexpected charges as well. The theft of human heads in a box could be anywhere from a petty offense to a felony if the value of the heads in total is above $2,000. <laughs> Who does that appraisal? I really do not want to see that episode of Antiques Roadshow. Well, I mean, I get that there's sentimental value, but I can't help but notice there's a little wear around the neck, and obviously it would have more cachet if it was still paired with its original body. Um, <laughs> do you know where your grandmother got it? <laughs> As of now, the heads are still at large, and authorities say if you find the box of heads discarded or abandoned, you're asked to call the Denver police. Well, yeah. <laughs> Who finds a box of human heads and says, I don't see why this needs to go any further? <laughs> Meanwhile, Dr. Oz has accused his sister of stealing millions from him. Gosh, Dr. Oz, someone abused your trust for profit? That must feel awful. <laughs> you know what I hear cures that feeling? Green coffee bean extract. <laughs> Meanwhile, Meanwhile, in Frankfort, Kentucky, everyone is fine, but the Buffalo Trace Distillery was evacuated after workers found a World War II incendiary bomb, and it's unknown how long the bomb was there. It's gonna be hard to figure that out because of all the different major World War II battles that were fought in Franklin County, Kentucky. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've all become familiar with rockets being shaped like penises, and some are looking to bring equality to the space space because a German feminist art group has revealed a vulva-shaped spaceship concept. Yes. There it is. Unfortunately, many male astronauts are still having trouble finding the controls. Just ask, guys. Just ask. 
Communication is the key. <laughs> Meanwhile, a dinosaur fossil discovery may be the oldest stegosaur ever found. And if CBS's demographic research is accurate, that stegosaurus is watching this television show right now. <laughs> Thanks for staying up, Steggy. <laughs> Meanwhile, a Canadian movie theater with 13 seats has been officially named the world's smallest cinema. And yet, they still couldn't fill it for one screening of The Last Duel. <laughs> None of you saw it. <laughs> Meanwhile, in legal news, up in Maine, a county courthouse will soon have a dedicated courthouse therapy dog meant to be a calming presence in a stressful environment. And I hope it works out better than Maine's last idea, the courthouse comfort clown. <laughs> we'll be right back with John C. Riley. None of you saw it.